From UFOs to ghost and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. On April 4, 1968, civil rights hero and pastor Dr. Martin Luther King was assassinated while standing on the second floor balcony of a motel in Memphis, Tennessee. The world recoiled in horror at the news. Dr. King had galvanized the civil rights movement, and at the time of his death he was working to organize and focus the burgeoning anti-war movement. Two months after the shooting, a man named James Earl Ray was arrested at London's Heathrow Airport as he tried to leave the UK under a fake Canadian passport. The FBI had linked Ray's fingerprints to the murder weapon and a set of binoculars. He was extradited to Tennessee and pled guilty to the crime with hopes of avoiding execution. Although Dr. King was dead, his killer had been captured and justice had been served. At least, that's the mainstream version. Yet multiple people don't believe James Earl Ray acted alone or that he shot Dr. King at all. Why? Here's where it gets crazy. Conspiracy theories about the assassination of Dr. King began to spread soon after his death. Three days after entering his guilty plea, James Earl Ray tried to recant his statement, claiming that he had been framed by a criminal associate called Raoul, who allegedly hired him for various smuggling jobs. Additionally, a local bar owner named Lloyd Jowers claimed that a Memphis drug dealer named Frank Liberto gave him $100,000 to hire a hitman to shoot Dr. King, and Jowers said the man he contacted wasn't Ray. But the conspiracy theories don't end there. One of Ray's lawyers, William Pepper, claimed that the US government was responsible for the assassination and had made a scapegoat of Ray. This theory has some surprising supporters, including Jesse Jackson and Dexter Scott King, Dr. King's son. Dexter King visited Ray in prison in 1997, and he also claimed that Ray was innocent. Is there any evidence to support this claim of government involvement? It's true that beginning in 1957, Hoover directed the FBI to monitor Dr. King, wiretapping his phone to investigate his suspected communist leanings. And in 1999, Dr. King's family won a civil case that found the bar owner Jowers and others, including government agencies, guilty of the murder. The Department of Justice contests this conclusion, and on their website they address problems with the finding, maintaining that the verdict is based on hearsay rather than on fact. To add to this confusion, other researchers such as Steve Coakley believe that Jesse Jackson himself was somehow involved in the assassination. Martin Luther King remains one of the most important people in U.S. history. His birthday is a national holiday, and children study his work in school. Could it be possible that the same government agencies celebrating his life today participated in a conspiracy to kill him? One last thing. In 1976, the House Select Committee on Assassinations began investigating this murder. They concluded that while there may have been a conspiracy, it did not involve the government, and James Earl Ray was ultimately the killer. Ray claimed that he was innocent and maintained this position until his death, still imprisoned, in 1998. Today, much of the public remains dissatisfied with the official investigations and conclusion. Much of the evidence the House Select Committee used was sealed for 50 years. To the mainstream, this is a normal congressional rule. To conspiracy theorists, it's proof that there's something they don't want you to know. can turn your back on me, but you cannot turn your back upon the idea of justice. You can turn your back now and you can keep the club in your hand, but you cannot beat down justice.